once a year it's a good idea to inspect the flow sensor on your sprayer. The flow sensor is sitting just before the control unit and the sensor itself is sitting down into the housing. I'll now unscrew the, the sensor cap, lift the sensor out of the housing and already here I can see that the little paddle wheel is turning quite freely. That's the way it should be. There's a couple of uh, graphite bearings uh, supporting the rotor and uh, if they're worn then you need to change um, the rotor. There are four magnets on this um, rotor and if you look at the top of the sensor there's a little diode at the top here and every second magnet will cause that diode to blink or light up. When you uh, put the um, sensor back in, there's a little lug that lines up with a hole. So there you know that everything is in the right position. And tighten that down. Okay, now we'll go and do a um, calibration from the computer. Okay, now we're back at the uh, Hardy controller 5500 and we need to go into the calibration menu. So enter for that and I need to find calibration calibration enter and now I need to find something about the flow calibration enter I'm not interested in the constant I want to do a practical calibration nozzle method enter again okay there's a little warning here that says that I have to open all the boom and now I have a value here, and that's the flow per nozzle. And now I need to verify that by going out and measuring the flow at the nozzle with a jug. So now we'll go outside again. Okay, to verify the output, I've got my timer for a minute. I've got a good quality jug. I've got clean water running through the boom. And what I'll do is I'll test two nozzles per section and then get an average. Okay, I got my um, average uh, of flow uh, from the boom and it turns out to be 0.81 litres per minute. Now I need to put that value into the uh, computer. Okay, back inside. Um, the computer is saying 0 0.79, 0 0.8, enter, and I want to change that to 0 0.81 litres per minute per nozzle, enter, and here I have my new constant, 54.27 ppu. This 54 ppu, what does that mean? The pulses per unit. In this case, the units are metric, it's litres, and that means that for every litre of water, I'm getting 54.27 pulses. 